Hello. In addition to the four videos introducing the Garmin GPS 72 for Mark Lang, I've been asked how it is set up. We'll start by using the master reset or erase all data function. This is a bit like a factory reset. So you can start from the same place as me uh, and work through the setup process. After reset, of course, it will be necessary to take the unit outside so that it can find visible satellites. OK, first the uh, factory reset. Press and hold the menu button whilst pressing the power on button. Uh, and you will see that uh, it says here erase all data, scroll across and press the enter key. Usual warning. Uh, press the page button uh, and of course you'll notice that we're getting uh, key beeps now and so the first thing uh, I'm going to do is to switch those off so we go menu menu uh, and scroll up to the setup and press enter uh, and press up and up into the uh, key and message, press enter on that uh, and up and enter. We're now going to work our way uh, along the various tabs here uh, making the changes as required. And the other field that we want to change uh, under general is WAS uh, and enable that, press enter uh, and up to uh, enabled and press enter. Uh, WAS is uh, what is called differential correction. Uh, to you and me that means improved accuracy which could be as good as 10 feet or 3 meters. And now moving up to the tab line uh, and to the right on to time. So scroll down uh, and enter uh, and other is right at the bottom. So scrolling all the way down too far and hit other and you'll notice that uh, here we now have the UTC offset uh, which, as it's currently winter, I'm going to leave that at zero. Moving back up to the tabs at the top and right onto units now. And the key things we're looking for here are distance and speed, which will be nautical miles, and the uh, direction display uh, numeric degrees. So the directions already like that so we'll move down to distance and speed hit enter uh, and move up to nautical and hit enter and scrolling back up now onto the tabs at the top and across to location and here the defaults are all correct except we want to be working in magnetic rather than true north, so scrolling down onto true, enter, down onto magnetic, enter, and scrolling back up onto the tabs and right onto alarms. Uh, and the alarms we're not interested in at all, so scrolling to the right and you'll see the final tab is interface which we're not changing. So that's all of the basic setups uh, now changed to the way we need them. And so the next thing is to change the uh, screens that we want, the working screens uh, and setting the two fields for bearing and distance to next. Some people like to use the map page while others, including me, prefer the compass page. OK, so pressing the page button takes us to the 
initial screen you can see we're in simulating GPS uh, and the default as you can see the northing and westing there which for those of you who are interested is the Garmin Customer Service Center in the center of the USA. Okay so back to setup now um, we're currently on the first screen uh, and if we press page uh, we then move on to the map screen. Okay so we press the menu button uh, you can see change data fields is currently highlighted so press enter and you can now see in the top left hand corner that the uh, speed field is highlighted we want to change this so press enter uh, speed is highlighted we now scroll up these are in alphabetical order to bearing and like that and press enter uh, and on the right hand side you'll see distance to next is already displayed and we're now displaying the pointer or compass screen uh, and press menu uh, and change data fields down and enter and again the speed in the top left hand corner uh, press enter and similarly scroll all the way up to the top for bearing and press enter Okay, that's it. The unit is now set up. You can see bearing is magnetic there uh, and distance to next in nautical miles. So we're ready to start using the unit for GPS mark laying.